Hey, this video is gonna be me just going a bit off the cuff about how to deal with frustration as a developer. Because let's be real here, d being a developer is fun, but it's not always peachy, it really isn't. Um, because sometimes you're trying to learn stuff and you just don't get it. And I can remember so many times where, you know, working with an API was really frustrating because it was hard to understand, maybe the documentation wasn't good, but at the same time you kind of need to use that because the alternatives are even worse and that can be really frustrating. Or uh, trying to understand concepts um, that you just don't get and that would really it, it would just really help having someone explain that to you. And uh, I think that's one of the biggest you know points in countering frustration as a developer uh, might be working with other devs because um, no matter what topic you're not understanding or where you're having problems, there will be someone who is really good at that topic. And if that, I mean, that might be the person who developed the API that you're trying to work with. Um, that might be someone, right? There is no one that is good at every topic in, you know, say web development or whatever kind of development you're doing. But, uh, you know, for this YouTube channel, for example, no matter uh, about which topic I upload a video, there will be people who have no idea what I'm talking about and there will be people who are experts in the field that I'm talking about and uh, then that can also criticize the points I'm making. So people that are really experienced. I think that goes for everything. So no matter what you're trying to achieve or where you're frustrated, try to get in touch with the people that are good in that field. Whether that be, you know, front-end or back-end or authentication or working with a specific API. I think trying to reach out, say, on GitHub to the people that are developing that or that are experienced with it, that you know of, um, can be really helpful. Because chances are, those people are really cool and uh, they're happy if you reach out. I mean, I know not everybody responds, but uh, I've reached out on GitHub to people about code that I don't understand. And most of the folks on there are really friendly and are trying to answer your question uh, if you just ask them. And then secondly, try to take your time. Not everything has to happen right away. For me personally, it's the case when I try to learn a topic in, um, in development. So for example, how um, that was really recent for me, how to counter cross-site request forgery or C S R F attacks. Um, you know, it's kind of a simple concept. You hear many people talk about it, but I just didn't understand how to actually implement that. And uh, th one of the reasons is there are so many people saying so many different things. And that might be the case for you as well. I mean, to every topic in development, there's 10 opinions and you have to make the decision yourself, which one you're gonna trust, which one you're gonna go for, because you are the one that makes the call, right? And I think, just taking your time, you know, chilling out and realizing that you do not need to learn this topic right now, except if you really do, if you're forced to do it, but that's rarely the case, right? Um, except if you're forced to really learn it right now, you don't have to, you can take your time and you can take like half an hour a day to just learn that topic and then spend the rest of the time that you have um, just doing the topics that you know of. Because when you get work done in development, when you achieve progress, then there's not gonna be the feeling of frustration. And then the half hour that you invest in something that you don't understand is A, total, totally tolerable, like it's no big deal because you're still achieving other stuff. And then also you're still making progress in that area, right? Because that half an hour is compounding and then every day you invest that half hour or hour or whatever, but not too much because then the frustration will amount to something. And um, every day that you invest that um, will lead to you understanding that topic better and then uh, in turn being able to implement that topic into your development process or projects. So I think just taking your time, realizing you don't have to rush it, you, you can take your time learning this, it can take a week, it can take two weeks, yes it might stretch out some, um, some deadlines you've set for yourself. Now if it's for work, this is a different topic um, if you actually have to learn this stuff, but then chances are maybe you have someone to ask someone who's more experienced than you, like a senior developer in back end or in front end, depending on where your question is, or in something entirely different, right? If you're uh, not a web developer whatsoever. But if you're just working on side projects, you can take your time. Try to actually split up the project into stuff that you don't know, that you can allocate like half an hour a day to, and then stuff you do know, which you're familiar with, that you're um, proficient in programming in, and doing that most of the time, because then 
That way, at least I find for myself, that's how I avoid the frustration. Because if I spend an entire day um, trying to just go to that one side that I don't understand, trying to understand a, a concept or how to implement a concept uh, into your app, and then at the end of the day realizing I still didn't understand it, it can really feel like you've wasted the entire day. And that's when the frustration really hits you. At least that's what it is for me. So sp just splitting up your projects, I think is one of the biggest, um, the, the best things you can do to avoid frustration. And also reaching out to people who are familiar, um, like on, on Stack Overflow, even though the community is arguably some, sometimes a bit uninviting, uh, or on GitHub where the people are really cool on Discord. There's so many like web development discords that you also can get into. There's groups on uh, Facebook, if that's your thing. I don't know, not many people use Facebook anymore, but um, no matter where you are, there are people who are better in stuff that you're trying to understand. And then I think uh, reaching out to those people can be really beneficial. Even if that's in the comment section of a coding tutorial uh, under my videos, under someone else's videos, um, just trying to reach out, getting some input from people who are familiar with the topic is really valuable. And that's all I want to say. Those are my two cents about um, avoiding frustration as a developer, um, just splitting, splitting up your time efficiently and also um, reaching out to people, I think are the best uh, tips that I can give you. That's pretty much it. That's all I want to share. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have experience with, you know, dealing with frustration or if you want what your um, concept or implementation is that you are struggling with. That would also be cool because um, even though I make coding tutorials where everything seems like, you know, I don't make errors in those tutorials, I make so many errors leading up to that tutorial, just coding that out, just so in the tutorial the errors are not included. Um, and you know what that is like if you've ever developed something. You constantly fail um, and that can, can sometimes be frustrating. So if you want to share that, uh, feel free to comment down below. That's that's my two cents. Um, I wish you a lot of fun doing your own projects. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and bye bye.